Since bronchoscopy has a very large number of indications, I think one can do for any diagnostic or therapeutic purposes, but I think it is even more important to know the contraindications of bronchoscopy. Bronchoscopy is contraindication in conditions where the potential for complication is high, either from the procedure itself or from the associated conditions. If a person does not give you an informed consent or there is unavailability of a trained personnel, this is an absolute contraindication. If you are not trained in a particular skill, you should not be doing that procedure or you are not able to give sedation, that is also a relative contraindications. The major contraindication or what is the in the pulmonary which can result in a pulmonary decompensation is a severe hypoxemia and a person who's got a exacerbation of asthma or COPD in the last six weeks. So if a person had a, a severe hypoxemia and is, is having the uh, acute exacerbation, the fiber optic bronchoscopy is contraindicated. Although uh, severe hypoxemia has been considered an absolute contraindication, but there are situations, you will agree with me, where doing a bronchoscopy can relieve the severe hypoxemia. Like a person has a big mucus plug lying in the trachea or in the major bronchi. By removing the, the mucus plug, you can relieve the hypoxemia. So this can be done with the assistance of non-invasive ventilation or the laryngeal mass airway to take out the plug from the lower airways. Then bronchoscopy, when you do to obtain the bronchial lavage or transbronchial lung biopsy, they are fairly safe in a patient.